outside. I used to live in, um, um, what do you think? Asbury Ridge mm -hmm. in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and then it got, things got a bit bad financially, so that's when we moved to an apartment complex called Fairway Lakes. Um, so, I mean, my pa my mom's dream was to move, okay, so here's a mosque, there's like houses there, you know, mm -hmm. her dream, like every time we went there, she was always like, oh my gosh, I'm going to live here, like was to move near the mosque so we can just walk there and we didn't need my dad or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So your brothers attend public school also and not the mosque school, or? Not, yeah, not the mosque. Um, my brother graduated from New Albany High School, the same okay. school that I went to. Um, mm -hmm. My little brother is about to go to New Albany, like elementary. Okay. How old is your younger brother? He's five. Okay. Yeah, he's five. So um, he was born here? Yes, he was born okay. here. Can I ask you guys a question? Sure. What in the world is going to happen to me? That we don't know. Oh, that's a <laughs> big <laughs> That's a really good question. Because you tell us that, so uh, we're telling you that is a really good question. And that's why we're here, because we want to make sure that we protect you somehow if, if there's anything that we can do. We're here to try to make sure the yes. right decision is made, yes. whatever that may be, yes. and, and, and to provide input to those people, that the judge or whoever, yes. um, that that has to make that ultimate decision. That, that decision is not up to us, any of us in this room. No. All we can do is, is provide some, some guidance and input into, into that decision-making process. Okay. What advice do you have? I'd see. Yeah, I was so, the brother that um, did you know? My oldest brother. He was, my little brother was born then. Yeah. Um, I just... I didn't even ask for this, Lord. <laughs> Sign up for this, my goodness. There. So you said you still have your um, Anne, um, Anna Michelle Matthews um, Facebook yes, page? Yes, I do. Do you still have that? I still do. Okay, I still have okay. yeah. I just thank you guys for all your help. Is yeah. Jess, you got anything else? No, if um if it's okay, I I'd like to read your journals. That yeah, would, um, that would help me. Would it help? Yes. So it would help this case definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I I would like that. Um, I think it would just to understand your your feelings at the time when things were happening. Mm -hmm. Um, to understand what was happening. Yeah. There's a lot, though. So are you sure? I have time. That's yeah. That's what she does. Yeah. <laughs> I um. I have to do. I have to. You have to say though. I stopped journaling. Uh, That's okay. A couple. Have you journaled since you've been here? I have. Um, is there any way that I could read those? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And maybe definitely. we can start there. How's that? Start there. Definitely. I, I I have to find it because honestly, I I think I have it with me. Not yeah. Here or you have them here right now with you? No, not with oh, me. Okay. With me, but okay. I can. Also, I think what will help also is, um, I'm trying to think, if you can find um, some of my friends that I would, oh, you, talk to Jamal mm -hmm. and people that I have, like, I, I've on Facebook, I would, like, like yeah. write, like, what's happening, what's going on, and tell them I'm here, and all things of that sort. Okay. Can do that? Yeah. Um, let me see if there's anything I can help. Um, talk to my friends. Talk to my friends. The, the most of friends that you stated to me earlier? From yeah. The um, states of prayer? Okay. Uh, especially the ones that I mentioned, the kids my age. Okay. Um, if you could talk to us also, Mark Lu, M E R K L I U, Shane Huey, S H A N E. Oh wait, are you there? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I have them already. Okay, Mark M A R um, M A R C. M A R K. Mm -hmm. okay. L I U, and he's in 
Sisters. No, that's not the sister. Just the same. Oh, last just the same last name. Yeah. Shane Huey. Shane Huey. What would they be able to tell us? Are they your friends? Yeah, they're my friends. Uh, they can't get by again. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Facebook friends or? No, real people. Real people. Yeah, a lot of them are real people. Back in Columbus. Yes. Do you have addresses or? No. You can find them easily though, like they're Ohio State people and some are. Hi, what? Ohio State. Ohio State. Okay. Or some are my friends from, like, it's very, you'll be able to, yeah. Paige Bailey? P A I G E B A I L E Y. Like I said, I'm gonna give you my card. It's got my email address on it. And you can, um, you can give me. Yeah. Anything. What are you guys called? Like. Well, it's called the Department of Law Enforcement. Basically, like the Ohio State Police. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. Hold okay. okay. on, it's Laura. I'm gonna be honest. I'm like I'm really scared though. What's gonna happen? I'm relying my email address. Oh, okay. Thank Circle you, my cell number. That's the number to get me at if you need, if you, for some reason you want to talk to me, okay? Definitely. I will. David Lee. And this is my card. And that's my cell. So if you'd like to talk to me as well. Um, and my email address is right underneath there. So if you can't get a hold of David, you can get a hold of me. Especially about the journals. Yeah, <laughs> especially about the journals. That would be wonderful. Okay. Rick, I've got one other question for you, okay. and that is, uh, and I, I stuck out once to take a phone call, so I don't know if this is asked of you, but to your knowledge, was there ever any, any uh, were there any, ever any police reports made of, of any of the abuse towards you, the physical abuse? To my uh, knowledge, no. Not to my knowledge. You've never spoken to a police officer about having been struck by your father or no. how about with uh, family services? Um, has has the Ohio the state of Ohio family services no. and social workers or child welfare people come in to talk to you about you know, a alleged abuse or maybe spoke to you, spoken to you at, at school or anything like that? I don't think so, except the counselors. I don't remember talking to anyone else about that. Counselors never uh, called the the abuse hotline or anything like that for no. you? No, I don't think so. Did you ever talk to, did you ever approach a school counselor? I did. The school yeah. counselor. The one that you discussed earlier. Yeah, I... What's the name of the school you went to? New Albany Middle School? New Albany Middle School. Yeah, it's very a close-knit community. New Albany. There's New Albany Elementary and Middle School and High School. They're all together. And that was the counselor that called your parents when you were in sixth or seventh grade? Yeah. Around that time. Okay. Do you know her name or his name? I don't. His gray hair though. Okay. Anything else, sir? So anything you want to add before we conclude this interview? Um If at some point in time we have additional questions or things we need to clarify, are you willing to talk to us again? That's right. Well, definitely. Thank you. One more. Talk about your father was doing this abuse. What did your mother say like to? Um, not much. I mean, my mom can't really interfere to my dad. My dad, well, my dad does stand whether my dad, mom likes it or not. Um, so yeah. So she never said anything that I tried to protect you. No. I have one more. Okay. Okay, so and at any point were you ever molested by your father? No, I was not. You were never inappropriately touched by no, your dad? No, I was not. By your brothers? No. I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Are any of the boys in the mosque? No, no. Okay. You done that? Okay. All right, it's about uh, 5.02 p.m. and that concludes this interview.